MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. So Nick, we've got an EN8 test here. I see you've got a tool in your hand. Are we going to be doing two or three steps here? Uh, no, Joe, this, this one we actually do this in one drop. Uh, we do this in one, uh, one depth actually uh, with our new V5L. Um, what this has allowed us to do is to use uh, almost four times diameter depth in one cut and we're still using a 10% radial step over. And what feeds and speeds? Uh, currently that's running at 7,950 RPM, 5.5 meter feed, 45 millimeters deep and 1.2 millimeter step over because it's a 12 millimeter tool. And what metal remover rate are we achieving? Uh, just, just a fraction under 300 cubes a minute, cubic centimeters a minute. That's a lot of swarf. Yeah, and for, fortunately I don't have to clean the machine afterwards. So can you talk me through the process? Okay, what they'll do, obviously this is a 12 millimeter diameter tool. Uh, the depth of cut will be 45 millimeters in one cut. Uh, radial step over will be 10%, so 1.2 millimeters. Uh, using a high-speed machining strategy we, where we will be just peel milling into the part. Obviously this will then work its way out into the, into the different pocketed areas. Uh, and this is, all, this is all in one operation, one cut. So if we engage in a full cutter length at those feed rakes, tool stability is going to be key? Uh, absolutely. Um, when you're engaging that kind of flute length, there's a tremendous amount of torque trying to pull of that, uh, this tool out of the holder. Uh, if you were trying to do this operation with something like an ER type collet system, then I think you, you would have a lot of problems. Uh, obviously we, we, we use the power grip system from Rigafix. What this allows us uh, to do is to hold this tool extremely uh, rigidly and also uh, no chance of slippage. So this tool will maintain its uh, depth, it won't pull out uh, and, it, and we get minimal deflection because the tool obviously is running at very, very high accuracy as well. Uh, but yeah, the tool holder for this type of operation is, is very critical. Yeah. If I went to a typical subcontract engineer, how would they be machining this component? Well, experience tells me certainly the customers that I visit at a piece like this, they're probably using a four flute type tool, very mill, um, and probably doing that in a series of maybe one diameter steps, uh, one times it's over 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter steps all the way down, which obviously is going to take uh, quite a bit of time. Um, with this method, we can actually engage the flute length fully and remove that pocket in one operation. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning more and more about MA Ford, but you like to take time out of jobs, don't you? Absolutely. It's, it's kind of a passion of ours. It's, it's almost like uh, customers challenge us and we, we, we hopefully try and deliver every time. Um, you know, a part like this, this, this particular part took seven minutes to machine. I think using a traditional type strategy would be considerably longer than that. So you're not looking to sell boxes, you're looking to sell solutions? Yeah, you know, we, we're very much known as a solution uh, type company. You know, we, don't, we do manufacture cutting tools, that is our core business, but we also partner with, uh, with the correct type of tool holders uh, because it's important that in order to use these tools at their maximum efficiency, the way you are holding the tool is critical.